All right, time for a bit of an update on Renault's. Um, so I think we're five, six weeks in. Um, right on track. Uh, we've had a slight hold up this week with the plasterer. He um, has got a bad back and it's playing up this week. So we've lost two days. Um, but I've done some little jobs to kill time. Um, as you can see, a fair bit's been done. So I'll go for a lap. So, um, last time there was no windows, and guess what? Our beautiful big windows are in. So there's a big stack of doors with um, Invisigard fly screens, uh, and they are super. I shall work this one for you to show what they look like. And that's the advantage of Invisigard. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. That's open, that's shut. Fantastic bit of kit. Um, so there's a big stack of doors. These are big doors. And that's the door shut. Again, still very clear. See through. So these are really special windows. Um, so these windows actually got a layer of the special material in between the glass sheets um, that actually is sun and actually helps stops the sun smashing against the windows but actually doesn't produce the heat on the other side of the door other side of the glass so expensive but very 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 good almost double glazing but not quite the actual idea of double glazing with a gap these are all these are two pieces of glass put together with a um, piece of this blue stuff you can see it's blue so anyway keep going around so kitchen skeleton is in so pretty decent sized kitchen as you can see a lot of cupboard space so pantry over there um, fridge uh, corner cabinets and everything top cabinets range hoods gonna be right there and we've got a huge center bench so that's a 2.4 by 1.2 center bench all the stones on its way um, so it'll be here probably mid next week and that's actually going to be a breakfast bar so it's going to continue past this and be a breakfast bar so all the dry lie, dry walls done um, so she's all done is all up um, our little feature walls are ready they're ready to roll as you can see there you got little down lights and that'll look absolutely awesome so the TV holes are all there um, oh that's obviously where the aircon is TV hole there and a cabinet hole there so they're all going to be floating fully wall mounted so new, new cabinet wall mount then we'll have the um, sound bar that's wall mounted and the TV wall mounted and that's our new cabinet right under there um, so yeah so other than that that's about it the electrics uh, as per huge amount of hours on the electrics um, very lot of hours there must be 20 odd cables come to this one light switch so we've got multi-way multi-switching bluetooth the whole shebang going on in this place so it'll be all available three different positions one two and three so all three fan controls all three fans all lighting everything is multi-function multi-position two and three-way switching with push button and dimmer control and speed control by a push button roofs all being fixed that was huge job um, we anticipated it was going to be a big job and it was uh, so there's quite a lot of work to do up there on the woodwork um, from old frame um, so just some of the cross truss br braces had to be um, redone replaced so I did all that while he, uh, while I go to help her to do a bit of the drywall, that was sore shoulders, my shoulders and hands still hurt. So huge amount of work scraping all the old cornice clean. Uh, massive amount of work. I spent nearly a day up there cleaning all the um, all the stuff on this top. If you ever take corners down, you'll know what I mean. Um, so yeah, a lot of tidy up on the ceiling, a lot of work getting things pretty and even and all that sort of stuff. 
Got all the lights pre-cut and it's all ready to go. This old skylight's been filled in there. And um, yeah, so our stove will be there. And centre bench will have the dual sink in it, which will be a recessed sink underneath the stone. All the drawers, I've got all them fitted. Um, obviously you're going to have handles on these things. So look, soft clothes. Whee! Aren't they cool? I love them. Nothing better than soft clothes. And they come all the way out. Look at that. Pull all, all the way. And you can just push them shut. And look at that. Magic. Love them. So all the plumbing and all that's ready to roll here. Um, that's our cutlery drawer. As I said, pantry. Our fridge. We've got a new fridge ready to roll. Um, there's our top cabinet. That's going to be just for me. Because I'm pretty well the only person who can reach up here. Uh, this is about... 2.2 high, so yeah. so it's just me. Um, so a little bit of adjustments to do on some of these things. LED lighting's ready to roll. So we've got the LED lighting all running through the top of the bulkhead up there. This will be a, a um, glass bulkhead up here. Same glass as what's in here. So and on top of that, this glass has now been replaced. So that's all being replaced. And look, that glass is the same as that glass. So that glass will be exactly the same as what we're putting up in the bulkhead. So it's going to be a glass bulkhead, a frosted glass bulkhead with a, a LED lighting behind it, which will be fully remote control, multi-color, multi-setting, blah, blah, blah. All the under cabinet lighting is ready to roll. It's all ready to roll in there. They're the remote sensors. Um, so that side will be for the above cabinets in the bulkhead and this 